Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy Friday to you all. Hopefully you are enjoying the end of your week, possibly getting an early start to your weekend. You're enjoying the day nonetheless. Did not think we would be jumping into this group one more time before their full uh, release, but EXO are back and have dropped yet another pre-release for their upcoming uh, album release that's coming out soon. And did not think we were going to get another one. In fact, I can't, off the top of my head, remember a group that's done two pre-release singles before their full album. Hmm. Am I complaining about it? God, no. Because today we are checking out the MV4 EXO's Hear Me Out. Now, I very much enjoyed the last pre-release. And as this is my first proper kind of like EXO comeback that I'm experiencing, or at least I should say group comeback that I'm experiencing, I've been enjoying every single piece of content. Come out of it. Learning the members. That is something I still need to do. I need to add that to the list. Uh, I need to add X on the group of kind of list of groups that I need to learn before their next release. And, you know, with just over a week and a half to go until the album drops, I think that's a pretty good amount of time to just roughly try and put names to faces. I can... I've listened to a few members, actually, do solo stuff in the past couple of years. Like, of course, Suho. I got to see him live at MIK last year. Got to see Kai live at K-Pop Flex last year. I've known Bacon solo stuff for a while. Schumann had a solo debut last year. Of course, Kai had Rover very recently. Uh, we've had Chen on the channel before many times for little SM Station solos and things like that. So there should only be a couple more members that I just need to learn, which shouldn't be too bad. So here we go. Glad I kind of have like a little path set out for me because that makes my life a little bit easier because I don't have to learn the entire group. But I am ready for some music. I don't know what the vibes of this is going to be. I'm very excited nonetheless, though. So here we go. One, two, three. That's a mood. Oh, hold on, it's very smooth. Look back, the mommy did on the mommy did and then get a pillow fly together. Nana need a little baby, I can't help it. I meet an idiot and she don't and just say it. Cause I've been thinking about some time, it's true, my logic don't be more than gay. I like the low vocals. Oh, of course it's over FIFA. Of course it is. Oh my. Please tell me they used the same take for that. Please don't tell me they made him fall out of bed multiple times. Yeah, I really like the low keyness of this. It's low key, but it's got a nice amount of soul behind it. Stack the vocals. Oh. oh, this bridge is so interesting. It feels like it's just slowed down massively. It hasn't at all. Oh, 
Oh, a two-part high note one time? The balance of this song is so interesting to listen to. Oh, oh, that was a very tasty song. Little graphic one time for the boys. Don't do it. We survived. We survived yet again. Oh, yes. I like it. I really do like it a lot. It's a very different... Actually, wait. Let Me In was the last one. It's a very different direction. And it's... Hear Me Out is such a smooth song for my ears. It's really buttery. It's got a nice swing to it. You know, it's got the soul element in the vocals. It's got the kind of retro... almost like R&B type of vibe to it. That is just oh so gentle on the ears. But what I love is just how low-key the song feels for me. And I don't mean low-key in a bad way. I mean low-key in a way where it's just a very simple, casual song that you can just kind of pop on. You don't really need to like think about it all that much. It's a song that, like, the main goal of the song isn't to like make itself known within your head, like front and center. It's not a song that's meant to, you know, get the crowd riled up and get them jumping up and down until the stadium shakes itself to the ground. No, no, no. It's a strangely enough, I think it's an extremely appropriately titled song. Like, it's almost like EXO is saying, like, "Hey, I know we can do the energy stuff, but hear me out. Let's slow it down one time." And even though you're getting, you know, high vocal moments from people like Baekhyun, from people like Suho, from people like, oh jeez, I should probably, again, this would probably help if I actually learned their names properly, but you get like the high notes. And typically when you get a high note on like this kind of slow swing style piece, they're really noticeable. But for me, the high notes just blend in with the music. And I love the balance of it, because the high notes aren't made to be like the shrill high tones that's like easily noticeable. It's like... You know when you like go to a really fancy place and they have creme brulee on the menu, you know, you got the custard with the sugar, like the sugar coating that's been blowed towards so you have a nice like crust of sugar on top. That would be, like, that on its own would be, like, EXO's Hear Me Out without the high tones in the end. But by adding a little bit of the high tones, especially the... Where's the first time they introduced the car? It's right here. They stack the... The running two-part high note ad-lib in the background is, like, all you're doing is you have that nice bass of the creme brulee with with the custard with the torch sugar crust but then you add a little bit like some fresh fruit maybe like a couple segmented i don't know like quarter strawberries maybe a raspberry to add a little bit of like icing sugar dusted over the top with one sprig of mint it adds a little bit of it's like it's that is the entire product of EXO's Hear Me Out is the nice creme brulee with the fruit and the little topping and the extra little sprinkle, a garnish, a sprinkle of powdered sugar on top. It adds a certain freshness to it. It adds a little bit of liveliness, a little bit of pizzazz to the top of it. But it doesn't impede on the rest of the song. Oh. Oh, 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 they can, they are sweeping me off my feet with this. Sorry for the possible nonsensical food analogy there. I'm just very passionate about food. I'm very passionate about music. And, you know, two and two go together very well in my head. And although it might have not been articulated all that well, that's the sensation I'm getting from it. And I love it. It is very nice. It is very nice. And, like, I'm very much a, what I like to call myself a title track merchant when it comes to EXO. 
And I know the range that they're capable of. But, like, with this being my first, like, proper era following them now, and kind of knowing the little elements of, like, what the individual members, or at least some of what the individual members can bring to the table, seeing it come, like, full circle, kind of, you know, be put in to the overall project of EXO and hearing it properly makes me feel so good. Because I feel like I was missing out on a lot and now I'm getting to experience it. And it's like, okay, I get it now. I get why they've been around for so long. I get why they're so popular. <sighs> yeah. I'm so excited, man. When is it coming out? July 10th? Something like that? Whenever it is out, though, you can bet your ass we're going to be doing... The MV and the album, whenever that drops, the full thing. So, hopefully you look forward to that, but that is it for me today. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request for me today. Let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world. Whether it be, you know, checking in with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness that may brighten up someone else's day to day. And know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy on the internet who waffles about music in his free time, and as evident today, can waffle a lot about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.